Okay folks, this should be very cool. Basically, I'm doing a test on this motor as part of the off-grid magic bicycle charging machine project. So what I've done, I've got one of these motors clamped onto the side here. That is actually using the clamp that came from the hoverboards themselves. So the power is coming out of the motor into these three wires here to the rectifier here uh, and then via the meter here connected to a failing lithium-ion battery and I know it's, it seems dodgy charging one of them but as we're doing it by hand we can stop if necessary. It was on 8 when I plugged it in and I gave the uh, machine a little bit of a whirl. Uh, so we're going to concentrate on this. I've marked the side of the motor so if I get the right camera angle we should know how fast it's going to be going. I'm going to be using a fairly powerful Bosch drill. Uh, I'll show you on one, speed 1 and speed 2. Speed 1 won't make enough power to charge the battery so we need more than 9.35 volts which we will get. I'm going to show you it on speed number one to start with. Three, two, one, go. So that is not reaching over the 9.39, 9.45 volts, whatever on the meter. So now speed two and we will definitely get some power into the meter and into the lithium ion battery. It doesn't matter if the power stays in the battery, I just want to show you that it's actually creating power. Okay, so this is speed two, and I'm only going to go for about 30 seconds because my drill will start to get hot. Maybe 15 seconds. Okay, go. So as you can see, it definitely produces power and what I'm going to do is I'll, when I edit the video, I'll take a note of how fast this is spinning and then I'll put it in there. But you can see we're definitely getting up to around 12 volts and I think it said 41.2 watts peak. So that might have been when I was testing it before I made the video. So that definitely works. I'm just going to get the other one and do exactly the same test. So I've just got to unscrew this and swap the cables over here that go into the rectifier. Okie dokie, this is the second motor and I expect to have pretty much the same result. I won't bother doing it on speed one because it won't uh, make the voltage required. Go now. Okay, excellent. So I noticed it was pushing in about 3.4 amps, so it doesn't really mean anything in the wider scheme of things, but it definitely means they both work, and we should be able to get enough out of each of them to make 12 volts. I've got an old bike wheel here, which is a front wheel, and I just want to show you how I plan on that interacting with the actual hover bike wheel. As this turns, then obviously so does the hoverboard motor. And I've done some calculations for each one revolution of the 26.5 inch bicycle wheel. We'll get four four point zero seven nine to one. I calculated the tread per revolution of the hoverboard motor, 518.1 millimeters, and the thread per revolution, that's what I'm calling it, tread, sorry, not thread, uh, 2113 millimeters, just over two meters, giving a ratio a 4.079 to 1. When this and the other one will be mounted behind the bicycle seat on a rail so that it will be, when it's used, it will be like that. So the, the wheel will be spinning below and this will sit on top behind the back seat. Uh, I'll put some more drawings in the next video. But what we can do as well, for this uh, particular device, I may well end up using this battery and trying to convert it to 12 volts because if we can get 12 or 14 volts out of it then it will run a diesel heater right okay so that's great i'll see you in the next video so i'm going to uh, stop saying so and i'm going to go through the speeds and see how much rpm we got when we were putting in actual power and even though it was to a, a lithium-ion homemade battery it still has to work against the load
Well, I thought that was pretty cool. What that has shown us is that this motor going 324 RPM will give us approximately 35 watts at 12 volts, which I think is, it's neither here nor there really, but it's something. That's what I wanted to check. With regards to this, that shows us that we need to get this wheel up to 79 RPM to hit that. With regards to using two motors together, they may have to have their own separate rectifier, but that is a bridge we'll cross when we come to it. So I'm going to say bye for now, and uh, in the next video I'll have some more stuff done on the project. Thank you very much.